have been trying to get us together for dinner for weeks, Alex. This is a long time coming. <laughs> I agree. Every time we see you, it's, it's some extravagant to-do that's held in your honor. We never get a chance to talk to you. Well, we're going to make up for lost time. So, uh, first, let me start with a little toast. A toast? Well, no, no. <laughs> Toasts are for those large extravaganzas. Let's... Keep it very informal, right? Nothing formal about what I'm going to say. Just some straight, simple thoughts about our future. To friendship. And in the hope that it flourishes into a partnership that brings prosperity to both of us. What's wrong? I can't drink to that, Cece. Wouldn't be right. Would be dishonest. Oh! What's wrong? What is it? The baby! Something's wrong. Yes, Please sit down. It's a contraction. I think I'm in labor, but I can't be. No, it, it's too soon. It's a false alarm. I've never felt this before. Mason, I'm scared. I'll call Dr. Ballard. I can't lose this baby. I just can't. I tried to get back as soon as I could. It hasn't been dark too long, has it? No. Everything went all right? Just like I said it would, didn't it? Yes, everything went all right. I say that like you mean it. It's just hard knowing what I have to do. What do you have to do, Eve? I love my family. I love Cruz. Not being able to tell them what happened or be able to see them. I don't know if I can do that, but I have to. You decided that for sure now? If I could spare them anything, it would be different. But they've already suffered. The kindest thing that I can do for them now is to let them think I'm dead. I'm not sure. You can't be serious. Yes, I am. You won't drink to friendship? Not in that context, no. What context is that? Cece, you and I have known each other for a very long time. That's true. But that's not sufficient basis to form a, a business partnership. When did you decide you didn't want to do business with my husband? Sophia, it was never a foregone conclusion. Oh, come on, Alex. Sophia knows you talked about this several times. It's no secret that I bought Delta Pharmaceuticals <laughs> just to produce and manufacture your vaccine. And you were well aware that I was looking at a number of other companies. I was aware, but I assumed... You assumed. That... You shouldn't have. Alex, surely it doesn't surprise you that CC thought he was a front runner for producing your vaccine. You went out of your way to look us up when you got to town. You insisted that we come to the announcement of the discovery of the vaccine as your special guest. Was it any wonder that we thought we were going to be involved in some way? I wanted to share my good fortune with friends, but there was never, never a promise of a joint financial future. All right, Alex, who outbid me? I don't think I said anyone outbid you. Oh, come on, if somebody made you an offer, at least give me a chance to match it. You owe me that much. I wasn't aware that I owed you anything, Cece. <sighs> Did you or did you not make a deal with someone else? There is one investor that I'm leaning towards very strongly, but I can't reveal him until it's finalized. You understand? Yes. I understand. I have to read it in the papers. So much for privileges of friendship. 
Darling, you always said that not everyone knows how to do business and stay friends. I hope this investor of yours is ready to put his money where his mouth is because the startup prices of something like this is quite big. And if anybody denies that, that means they're trying to cut corners. And I certainly don't think that you want a substandard product associated with your vaccine. It might be a danger to uh, the public, the public health. My investor isn't of the bargain basement variety. He's well-funded, Cece, believe me. All right, Alex, how much has he laid out? Hmm? Two million. Two million? That's right. Two million. Isn't that a strange coincidence, darling? That's exactly the money that Mason borrowed from me. Is that so? Were you aware of that? I don't understand. Is there some reason that I should be aware of a financial transaction between a father and a son? Yes. If Mason happens to be your investor. So why don't you tell the truth? Is it or is it not the reason you've had this major change of heart? Yeah, it was very sudden. She doubled over with pain about five minutes ago. Yeah, it seemed to lessen a little bit, and, th and then it got worse again. Uh, no, no, her water hasn't broken. Uh, th that's what I mean. It's not really a matter of separate contractions. It, it, the pain is more or less constant. We're both very worried, Doctor. When, when can you get here? Uh-huh. Good. I, d I don't think we have any time to lose. Thank you. What can I do? Oh, just pray the baby doesn't come now. Can I get you some water or something? No. My back is killing me. Here? Yeah. It's a little better. Just take deep breaths and try to rest. Mason, I can hardly breathe. Just, just do the best you can. Okay. Dr. Ballard will be here in a minute. Oh, good. I don't know what I would have done if you weren't here, Mason. What if I'd been alone? Don't think about it. The baby has to be all right. It just has to be all right. Oh. You made the right choice, Eden. I hope so. It's not going to be easy. But I think it's for the best. Do you mind if I ask what made you decide? Your friend was here. He brought a newspaper. A friend of mine came to the cabin? His name was Clint. Oh, Clint. Yeah, we pick up supplies for each other. We help each other out that way. I'm surprised you didn't run into him in town. Probably just missed each other. What was in the newspaper that affected you this way? Read it yourself. It's an article about my family. They made a big donation to the Wasatch Technical Institute. In your name. Yes, knowing all that made it a little too real for me. That they did something for me in my memory. They tried to turn something negative into something positive. I guess I just saw it as a symbol. I think I know what you mean. Even there is one sure way not to cause your family any more pain. And that's to walk back to them, under your own power. I'd like to think that was possible. But it seems like it's going to take so long. No, 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 don't think that way. One day at a time, remember? The only way we're going to get these legs moving again is for you to make a total commitment to that goal. No more past, no more future. Just now. That I means forgetting your family. Forgetting Cruz. There's only today. I'd like an ambulance to 105 White Sands. That's the home of Inspector Cruz Castillo. He's been poisoned, I think. He's, uh, he's semi-conscious and he's convulsing. He's still breathing, yes. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it was, he mixed it with alcohol. Yes. Yes, all right. Oh, 
on me. Wake up, wake up. You are not going to die on me. Wake up. Did you write that yourself? I see you standing there. Oh, don't stop, please. It's very pretty. I haven't played this guitar in a long time. No idea what made me take it out from underneath the bed. Now you are full of surprises. Mm. You mean my musical genius here? Yeah, that and the motorcycle. Next thing I know, you're going to be putting this my guitar on the back of the motorcycle, putting on Johnny's little crash helmet, and the two of you are going to ride off to the sunset for a great high adventure. Yeah, right. Rick, I was just kidding. Maybe you shouldn't keep playing all those little sad songs. <laughs> They're bound to affect you. Got that. You wrote that for Amy, didn't you? Uh, no. No, she used to, uh, sing that a lot. She had a beautiful, uh... I don't know why I do this, you know? I, I pulled this thing out here to have some fun, and I started just remembering some songs I used to play in high school. Next thing I know, her voice comes into my head and I just can't get it out. She was a part of everything that was important to you. Anything from your past, like your music, is bound to, to remind you. Jane, reminding is one thing, being trapped is another. It's not going to do me any good. Well, let's get you unstuck. Want to go take a walk? Um, I, I don't think so. Man. Why not? Um, maybe not tonight. All right, how about we make some plans for the future? Memorial Day, how's that? Is that far enough in the future for you? Memorial Day? What's, uh, what's happening Memorial Day? Well, I saw some flyers up at the university talking about a big beach party. Barbecue, dancing, sounded like fun. You want to go with me? Well, I don't know. I think I'm a little past the uh, surfboard and six-pack crowd, don't you? Oh, God, that's right. Father time. Well, maybe we can get you a senior citizen discount. What I mean is I think there's about 50 or 60 guys who'd love to take you. Give them a break. I just... I think you'd have a better time. I want to go with you, Brick. Call me masochist. Look, you don't want to go with me. Just say so. Jane. There's nothing, nothing to do with you. It's just that I spend so much of the time. I shouldn't be with anybody right now. Especially myself. Alex started being coy and wouldn't answer. I knew it was Mason. I told you he was up. I told you that. What are you talking about, darling? Why do you think that happened? I had my financial secretary check those ten pharmaceutical firms that I dealt with before I bought Delta. Well, one of them was bid on today. Sendrax Laboratories. Guess who the bidder was? My ungrateful son, Mason. Kidding. I don't believe it. Well, that's true. And he knew I was going to work with Alex. He knew I was going into business. Well, he just slid it into there and undercut me, and he did it with my two million dollars. Honey, this, wait a second. There's got to be some explanation oh, for this. There's no explanation. He's just furious. That's the explanation. The furious that I was trying to help Kelly up the ladder in Delta. That's all. He's trying to get back at me, trying to hurt me. And what good it would do him? He doesn't know how to run a company anyway, does he? Maybe he's going to learn as he goes along. Mason thinks he can do anything. He has an unduly high opinion of himself. What I can't understand is Alex taking the risk. I know. So here he has an opportunity to go into business with someone as shrewd and as experienced as you are, and he throws it away. Why? I would imagine Alex is not the friend that we think he is. I also have the feeling he probably put this whole thing into Mason's head anyway. Honey, he... Alex has been nothing very kind and very gracious and to us. And very clever with us. What does that mean? When you say clever, you sound like he wants revenge from you. You haven't done anything to him. Sweetheart, there are any number of companies he could have dealt with. Instead, he picks my son Mason. What do you think he did then? Except to hurt me. 
And I'm gonna find out why. Who are you? Don't you know a guardian angel when you see one? So, these are from the garden uh, that you planted last year. <laughs> no one's been taking care of it very well. Somehow, things keep growing, dear. Of course, if you were there, you'd be out there, taking the weeds out and mucking around. Amy. I don't want to be alone for the rest of my life anymore. And, uh, if and when I find someone, I know that I can give them a lot now because of knowing you. You're my first love. And that means you've always got a very special place in my heart. As long as I've got Johnny, there's going to be a living reminding, reminder of it. Look, um, I wanted to talk to you today because, uh, you know what, I'm uh, on the verge of moving forward. You know, uh, ever since you died, I've been looking back. I think it's time. It's time, Amy, to take that step. Somehow, I know that wherever you are, You're smiling right now, and you're agreeing with me. Good night, baby. Now, this is a mild sedative, Victoria. It should help relax you. It'll also slow down any residual contractions. Is there any discomfort now? Well, not as much as there was before. I really thought the baby was coming. Well, you did suffer an abruption. You should be all right now, but if anything starts happening over again, you give me a call so we can get you to the hospital, keep an eye on you. You don't think she should be in the hospital now? No, I'd like to see her in my office tomorrow, but I think she's perfectly fine here at home. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to bed. I think the sedative is starting to work. Well, I hope you sleep through till morning. Probably the best thing for you. Thank you for coming so quickly. You take care of yourself. She really gave me a scare. Well, false labor can be all too much like the real thing. What could have caused it? She seemed fine this morning, was well all day. Well, there are a lot of reasons. Um, stress is a possible cause. Stress? Yeah, either the physical stress of the pregnancy itself or Unrelated emotional trauma, anxiety, that sort of thing. I see. Well, I'll uh, do what I can to keep her out of stressful situations. Well, right on. it seems like you're taking very good care of her. Remember, you have any problems at all, you give me a call, okay? Yeah, I'll do the best I can. Thanks a lot, John. You bet. Good night. Hi, was that the doctor? Yeah. Uh, is everything all right? Did anything happen? I can't talk now, Julia. Can, can uh, we talk about it at the office tomorrow? Is it Victoria? Is she all right? Well, for, 
heaven's sakes, tell me. Maybe I can help. I think you've been enough help, Julia. Maybe it's best to just leave well enough alone. This is so strange. I mean, I know the towels are hot, but I can't feel them. I mean, they could be as cold as ice. I wouldn't know. We've got to keep the blood circulating down here where you need it. What's that? Oil. What kind is it? It smells kind of strange. Does it bother you? No. I make it with uh, herbs and other things I find around here. How can herbs help my legs? Well, back in the jungles of Southeast Asia, I saw a lot of death and pain. I also saw a lot of healing. And I remembered what worked. You can't possibly get the same herbs as you can in Asia. No, no. When I got back to the world here, I, uh, I spent some time and I experimented with different mixtures. This oil, if you put it on a broken foot, will mend it faster than if it didn't have it. I don't have a broken foot. I have paralysis. It's dead tissue. It's not dead. It's damaged. The nerves just need to be reawakened. And it'll happen. I can't imagine you want to spend your life this way. What? Well, I mean, I know you live in the middle of nowhere, but... You had to have something that filled your days before I came along. I mean, certainly didn't take care of somebody every day. Must be difficult for you. If it was difficult for me, I would have dropped you off at the hospital weeks ago. I'm doing this because I need it as much as you. Why? There are debts that I owe in my life that I can't possibly pay. At least this is a way of trying. So you, uh... You, uh, What were you doing in my house? Well, I was driving along the beach road, and I lost my way. So I stopped by your house to ask directions. And just as I was about to knock, I thought I heard someone falling inside, and, and I didn't even think. I just went in. Huh. That was lucky for me. Somebody, uh, put something in the tequila I was drinking. Who could be trying to poison you? Do you have any idea? No, I don't. But I'm a cop. It could be any number of people that I've put in jail, you know. Cruz, it's... It's strange, but... Having been through this together, I feel like we're very close. <laughs> I know we don't even know each other. Well, I, I'm, I'm grateful to you. Um, I mean, you, you came along at the right time. <laughs> I'll tell you. Hi, Albert. I'm Judy. Oh, Mr. C. Hi. Hi. Honey, are you all right? Yeah. What happened? We heard something about poisoning? Well, yeah, some, something happened, but, but I'm, a, I'm fine now. Well, tell us about it. What happened? I don't know exactly. Uh, somebody tried to perk up my drink, I guess. Uh, I'll be, I'll be happy to find out who did it, I'll tell you. Uh-huh. Luckily, this woman came along. She was asking for directions. She's the one who found me. Uh, I don't even know your name. Eleanor Norris. Well, Eleanor, this is Mr. and Mrs. Capwell, Sophia and Cece. Hello, it's very nice to meet you. Hello. It's very nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Pleasure. Both of you. I never dreamed that I would meet you. When did you get here? Just now. I, I wanted to see how you were. I, when you rushed out of the restaurant so suddenly, I was very worried. How, how did you know where to find me? Rick, I, I, I didn't mean to, to follow you, honestly. I didn't mean to intrude. <laughs> like, this is a very special place for you. I, I shouldn't... No, no, it's it. all right. Stay. Did you, uh... Did you hear what I was talking about? No. When I came, you weren't talking. You looked like you were just about ready to leave. Well, I guess I had said everything that I wanted to say. Did it help? Yeah. yeah I think so. But I'd say it would help me a lot more. 
I turned around and uh, saw you standing there. And I'm glad I came. You've been so very patient with me. Great friend. It's not hard. <laughs> I'll tell you what, have you had dinner yet? No. No? Well, I'll tell you what, I know this fabulous spot down by the water. It serves a mean, mean oyster stew. Oh, I think I know this place. Oh, yeah? Doesn't the owner drive his, his big mother dirt bike and oh. serve a, <laughs> play a mean guitar? You're not going to let me live there down. <laughs> no. Want to go? I'm sure that this is very frightening. And I am really terribly sorry this is happening. But don't blame me. You got me needlessly upset today, Julian. I came home and I took it out on Victoria. Ah! Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, please, forgive me. What was it exactly that I said? You dropped the fact that she'd been over at Cruz's and there was an unmistakable tone of accusation in it. I thought that you knew she was with Cruz. I didn't think I was dropping anything. Do you deny the fact that you wanted to make it look as though she had ulterior motives? That maybe she was trying to rekindle something with Cruz? Look, Mason, you asked me a question and I answered it. I said that Victoria had a very positive effect on Cruz. That we should all be very grateful to her. Now, if you want to draw inferences, that is your problem. I'm sorry. No. I was upset. No. No, go ahead, Mason. Take it all out on me. Take everything out on me. You always do. Don't worry about my emotional state. I said I was sorry. It was uncalled for. Well, you are right about that. I don't think that a few harsh words from me is going to make Victoria this anxious. The doctor said it was stress. Or maybe it's the pressure of being a Capwell wife or Capwell daughter-in-law. Maybe it's taking its toll on her. You see, I know that I am very lucky because I don't have to be a part of your illustrious family. Oh, this is why I came. You left the briefs for the Campbell case over at Johnny's. Take them. Take them all and take them. this one and this one and this one. Next time I'll send a messenger. Julia! Yes? Yes, Doctor. No, no, I'm afraid I can't. No, um... Uh, all right, but just for a minute. when I didn't do anything. Well, when we massage those muscles, they're getting exercise, whether you can feel it or not. What are you doing? A little remodeling. I think it broken. It's not broken. I thought you said you were fixing it. I said I was remodeling it. For you. For me? Yeah, aren't you getting a little tired of being cooped up in that bed? This is going to give you a little mobility. Well, you're chopping at the bit to be able to do things on your own, so this chair is going to make it possible. You're going to put wheels on it? Uh huh. Give you your independence again. Open things up for you. A wheelchair. There are a lot of houses on that street and the beach. It's a miracle you walked into cruises. Well, I'd been around there all day long. I was house hunting. And I suddenly got confused as to which street to take to get back into town. I tried next door first, but no one was home. Julia must have been working late. No, glad she wasn't. No one would have known that you were in trouble. Eleanor, thank you very oh, no. much. No, please, really. It's fine. It was just good luck, and I'm really glad that I was able to help. And now that your friends are here, I will say good night. Yeah, well, uh, good night to you, and... Uh... It seems inadequate, but thank you very much. You're welcome. 
But I'll stop by tomorrow to see how you are. It was very nice to meet you. My pleasure. And you? Bye-bye. Goodbye. She, uh, she's familiar to you. I feel like I've seen her someplace before. No, she seems like a lovely woman. <clears throat> Anyone who would have saved your life is a heroine in my book. Now tell me what I can do for you, what I can get you, anything. Uh, I can't think of a thing. Yeah, well, I can think of something. What's that? I think if someone tried to uh, poison you before, they might try something again. Why don't we have some security outside that door, a guard, huh? Oh, I don't think that would be necessary, Mr. C. I'm going to get out of here tomorrow. Well, at least then come and stay with us for a couple days, please. I think I might be kind of busy tracking down whoever wanted me dead. But I appreciate the thought. All, all I really need right now is a good nice rest. All right, well, promise me this, Cruz, that you will not move from this hospital tomorrow until you feel that you're able to. Don't push yourself. I promise. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. What's going on? I don't know. You must have pulled out your IV in your sleep. I'll tell the nurse to fix it. I thought you left. In all the confusion, I forgot my car keys. I left them over there. <laughs> Sorry, I woke you up, but when I saw your IV like that, I got frightened. Well, I'll go tell someone to attend to it. It's uh, twice you've shown up uh, at a most fortuitous time. Yeah, lucky coincidence. Yeah, I guess. Maybe you really are my guardian angel. Thanks for coming. You meant what I said. Nothing yes. for me, Joe. I'd only staying a few minutes. My wife's not well. Somebody's with her, but I have to get back. That's fine. I just want to confirm our plans. Did you open up negotiations with Syndrax? I've approached them. Their first response was cordial. I think we have a good chance. Excellent. I trust you're keeping the negotiations confidential. I'm trying. You know, these things have a way of leaking out. As long as they don't leak to your father, then I'll be happy. I told him tonight that I've decided to go with another investor. He was furious. Did you tell him who? No, but he put two and two together. Great. Yeah, I'll, I'll have my usual. You know what he's going to try to do now? He'll try to buy Syntrex right out from under me. No, don't worry about it, Mason. The power of your father's unlimited checkbook won't prevail here. I still have the right to choose who I want to manufacture my vaccine. When I do battle with my father, I like to be armed to the teeth. Now, his money may not be able to buy you, but he can make things a lot more complicated for us. I can take anything CC dishes out. The question is, can you? Have you got the stomach for this? I've been waiting for it all my life. The process, Eden. The chair's only a step along the way. Well, I don't know why it's so hard for me to think of myself as using it. I mean, you're right. This bed has become a prison for me. I just hope I'm not trading one prison for another. 
The prisons we make for ourselves are all up here. Believe me, I know. James? Hmm? When you spoke earlier about repaying a debt, what did you mean? Life has its little tests for us. It puts us in uh, make or break situations where we are reduced to our best or our worst. This is one for you. For me, it was the war. I learned things about myself I wish I didn't know. Hour after hour, day after day, you, you do what you have to do. Until finally you get so numb, you, you don't know what you're doing anymore. Some things happen. Terrible things that can't be excused by anybody's rules. on everybody going home before he started playing at guitar. Well, my dear, I'm trying to run a business here. I don't want to scare away my crowd. Bad Paul. Would you stop putting yourself down? Play beautifully. Hey, Thank now, you. What were you going to do about those bands that you were going to book here? Uh, this place really needs a lot of live music. Live music? You want yeah. to hear the chef when we run out of the catch of the day? A lot yeah. of live music. Just on weekends, maybe. A little quiet band in the corner that people could dance to or listen to would be nice. I'd say what, it's a lot more expensive than it sounds. Oh, come on. If you ask around, find the right people, it wouldn't be. Okay, uh, what do I do? Take an ad out? Well, I don't think you have to go that far. I mean, come on. You may just have a uh, major talent <clears throat> right under your nose. Uh oh, excuse me. Does that mean that that, under that beautiful, sensuous mouth, there comes a voice? Ooh, Let's hear it. Let's hear it. You need right now. Wait a second, you're being temperamental. Can't have you in my band then. What are you, a star already? What band? You don't even have anyone together here yet. But I'll make a deal with you. What's that? You get some musicians together. Oh. I promise I will sing my little heart out. Right here, on the spot. You name the song. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. You tell me where I'm supposed to find these people. How about the university picnic? Memorial Day. Huh? <laughs> yeah, well, it was this uh, really beautiful girl. I turned her down. Well, that was very short-sighted of you. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think if I uh, asked her again? I think she'd say yes. I think you have a lot of noise. Should I say yes? <laughs> Don't you deny that. I know my sources. You bid on that company today. Keep your voice down. Victoria's trying to sleep. I'll wake the damn world if I want to. I have a right. My son purposely and knowingly sold me out with my two million dollars. If I told you I was going to invest in a pharmaceutical company, would you have lent me the money? I was looking for a small but reliable company. Syntrex seemed to be a wise choice. You're unbelievable. Goodbye, Mason. Well, you're the one who led the way, Dad. You bought a pharmaceutical company yourself. I figured somebody with your track record had to be on the right track. You know damn well why I bought Delta. I had every reason to believe that Alex Nicholas wanted me to manufacture his vaccine. You went in and told him who knows what, so he'd go along with you. Well, you can save your breath. We can't have this discussion tonight. The hell we can! I mean it, Dad. Victoria almost miscarried tonight. The doctors took Too late. Hello, Susie. Victoria, hello. Is there a problem? I heard shouting. Yes, there happens to be a problem. I mean it, Dad. You're going to have to leave right now. My pleasure. <laughs> Nothing. Don't think about it. Don't give it a second thought. What did he say to upset you? He didn't upset me. Not at all. On the contrary, I upset him. And I can't tell you how good it makes me feel. She's right, you know. You should go back to sleep. And I'll be right outside. No, no. You, you, you should have gone home hours ago. I, I'm, I'll be fine. 
Uh, uh, really? I'm okay. Right now you're okay. But someone's out to do you in. And what's this... Cruz? Are you all right? I heard what happened. I... I... I, I this ambulance came and I, I'm okay now. I'm, I'm okay now. Uh, you must be the person that found him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is... Eleanor. Eleanor, what is it? Norris. Eleanor Norris. This is Julia Wainwright. Oh, the girl next door. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Eleanor knocked on your door before she came to my place looking for directions. Lucky for me, you weren't home. Well, thank goodness. I'm glad that you did. And I, you've done more than is reasonable to expect. I would feel better about things if you'd just go home now and get some rest. Okay. If you promise to do the same thing. I will. Then I'll say good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. you. Stay tuned. Coming up is your chance to win cash on Channel 2's Watch Magnum and Win 3. When we ask you the Magnum question of the day, be the correct caller with the correct answer and win $200. Channel 2's Watch Magnum and Win 3, next.